Hey guys, Kristen here with Find Your Balance Dog Training. I am out on another walk, one of my daily walks with Frankie, who is doing a fantastic job with his heel position and his calm mindset as we walk around past all the triggers that used to get him to blow up with all that uh, small dog reactivity. So as you can see, I keep Frankie in the heel position at all times, holding him accountable for his auto sits, heel, and also holding him accountable for a calm mindset every time we are passing other dogs and people out here. So Frankie has been practicing mental arousal, mental intensity and reactivity for more than three years which makes it a super, super strongly patterned habit of his. So I am of course correcting it all here in training, but moving forward, his owner is going to need to keep holding him accountable for that calm mindset, which means correcting him during the loading before he becomes reactive so that he never again becomes reactive. I find our dogs, our formerly reactive dogs, really mirror the energy of the other dogs around us. So Frankie can quite easily pass by um, calm dogs who just completely ignore him, but he still feels quite triggered by dogs who are reacting towards us, which means as soon as he begins loading, which is him noticing, fixating, you see that alertness in him. He usually starts with a couple of little peep peeps all of this stuff happens in like a split second before he actually becomes reactive. It's that split second of loading where we need to intervene and correct his mindset and diffuse it very, very quickly. It's like, um, like snuffing out the fuse on a bomb before the bomb goes off, right? The bomb being the reactive, the reactive behavior, the explosion. So we, teach the dogs this process and then teach our owners how to continue applying this process so that they can maintain the training long term.